difficult was this for you to adapt this for television? Well, it was challenging, but uh, it was one that I really embraced because it uh, enabled me to get at some things that I hadn't been able to do in the play. Uh, you know, plays are never finished, they're just abandoned. Um, and because it was filmed, uh, it enabled me to do things I could never have done in the play. So both, uh, but film gives you both the epic, you know, the ability to couch LBJ in the, an environment that explains sort of well, his origins, but also in the intimacy, the, the close-up, the ability to really get inside a character's head in a way that it's, it's uh, impossible to do on stage. And, you know, the play obviously was so loud and on Broadway, and, and you guys had such a I mean, just so, so well received. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it when I lived in New York. But, well. but, I, but I, 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 everybody I know did. And I, I'm just curious, any fear making that transition? I mean, any fear that, that it wouldn't, this wouldn't live up to <laughs> your vision that you were able to execute? Uh, you know, I, I don't focus on the fear. I, I, I focus on the challenge. And, uh, you know, there, it, 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 it absolutely, when you move from the theater, where uh, as a writer I, I have a great deal of control, into film, it's a much, much more collaborative process. Now, having said that, fortunately I'm collaborating with people like Steven Spielberg and Jay Roach and Brian Cranston, which ain't too bad. So um, it was, I would say, inarguably a career highlight for me in my television work, this project. You know what I actually... I always wanted to meet you because I was curious when you wrote this play. Did you envision Brian Cranston? You know, I don't typically I don't typically write with an actor in mind. But when we started casting for Broadway, and the casting director said to me, "So, what are we looking for?" And I said, "Well, we want an actor, a transformational actor, who can do two things. They have to be charming and funny and uh, warm." and have to be absolutely terrifying. Well, if you think about if you think about Brian Cranston and the breadth of his television career from that comedic, hapless, but very endearing father in Malcolm in the Middle to the chilling and ultimately tragic Walter White, what a range. That's really LBJ. And, uh, so as soon as we put that together, uh, we, we were very happy to find that Brian was not only available, but was also looking to do a theater piece, looking to do something very different from his own television.